Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we will be uh, discussing the infinite flight easter eggs. Um, so let's just not do a long intro um, and let's just get straight into the easter eggs. So the first one is going to be at EDDN. And I just spawned in with a random plane here, but we actually want to go here. Yeah, so we have this little guy. Um, ha he has his camera out and all that stuff. He is on some steps, but what I'm wondering is why he's on the steps, but at the same time floating. But uh, let's not talk about that, but he also has his little backpack his uh little back pocket with phone and all that stuff you know what I'll, let me try to get his uh credit card number hold on let me try to get it hey dude what's your credit card number all right but jokes aside um I guess he's plane spotting with his little camera. Now let's actually see if this is a good plane spotting area. Yeah, I definitely think it is. You can see every taxiway, all that stuff. And you can even like record the tower if you were actually here. Yeah, so I think this is a pretty cool Easter egg. A little plane spotter dude. But, yeah. A little plane spotter uh, um um but yeah this guy is pretty cool but yeah let's just go to the next easter egg so the next easter egg is going to be at los angeles airport now most of these easter eggs i know from Exentoro gaming video thingy yeah, most of these I know from him, but let's just turn off the engines for better thing. But yeah, I watched his video for these some for some of these Easter eggs, and one of them is also at Los Angeles, I believe. I think it's near two four right. So this is two five right. Let's go to two four right. Where is it? It's over there. Where's two four right? Am I just stupid or blind? Oh, there it is. So, um, if you can see, it's that little building over there. If you can see that. And yeah, we can already see him from here. I think it's the same guy, same exact guy. Yeah, it's the same exact guy. But, yeah, he's like, I guess that's like a car dealership or something. But yeah, there he's here. Um, um and oh god. And he is like I guess taking pictures of these cars to get them on sale or actually maybe like plane spotting. But I mostly think he's taking pictures of the cars for sale. But yeah, let's get right into the next so this next trick I actually found out myself, um, but many people should know this too, but we're just going to do it at Los Angeles. You can actually do this at any airport as long as it has um, this little, East, this little uh, Easter egg. And to do the Easter egg, you need this little screen. You can basically do it at any p airport with this a th screen next to the gate so i think the way you activate this is i think you turn i think you flick the strobe okay so it's then it's the landing lights i don't know why do you have to like do this why our, our engines are on wait i think it just did it what okay well this is a uh, a complete failure
So this next one is going to be in the DC-10. I just spawned in a random livery and the DC-10. Sorry about the microphone. I hit it. Yeah. So it's going to be the DC-10. Um, and this also works on the MD-11, I am guessing. But one thing that I think you guys need to know is... Okay, so I'm going to turn down the volume a little bit here. There we go. So, one thing I do not think you guys know. Hold on. The volume's really bad. Okay, so one thing that you guys probably didn't know is that in the MD-11 and the DC-10 is that they have, like, propeller blades in them, but... The top engine, or the third engine, doesn't actually have anything inside of it. Now, let's also go ahead and spawn in the MD-11 here. So, I'm, not, I'm, I'm pretty sure it only works with the DC-10 and MD-11, but you guys can check with the McDonnell Douglas or all that stuff. Um, or other planes that have three engines, except for the A340. That one has four. But let's go ahead and check out the, um, I forgot what this plane's name is. But yeah, once again, the, there is no inside, it's just the complete dark, it's just complete darkness. But, yeah, so that's also another Easter egg. And another cool Easter egg is that in this plane, I forgot the name. Um, oh, never mind. Oh, I think that was in the... Hold on. This plane was the uh, McDonnell Douglas MD-11. In the DC-10, I think there is a pretty weird glitch. Now, I'm not sure if this is also an Easter egg or if it's just like a weird bug or something. But I think in the DC-10, um, in the cockpit, if we go into the free camera. Yeah, um... A pilot is missing their head. Um, pilots are literally missing their head. Don't know why. Um, hey, I can be your your replacement head. Um, no. Why would I ever be her replacement head? Um, yeah, this plane is completely empty. But that's another weird thing that is built in this plane. I keep forgetting the names of these planes, but anyways, let's get into the next Easter egg. Yeah. So, this next one is pretty cool, in my opinion. Now, we do have to get the aircraft from the older versions or the legacy um, versions, but um, what I wanted to tell you guys is that almost all planes have... A Pepsi can in in the cockpits, I believe. So let's start off with the 767 or 767. Let's go ahead and load in. Now, see, we are expecting a lot of reworks, like the 767, the Embraer. Now, this one doesn't actually have a cockpit view, so we're going to actually have to go and free cam. Oh, hey, what's this thing? airplane yeah but uh yeah we also have a pepsi can here now i believe and i also think it's in the triple seven now i'm not sure if it's in every model triple seven or like the triple seven 200 lr 200 er or 300 er um but i guess we'll find out just in a few seconds so we are loading in right now there we go Let's go into the cockpit here. Hmm. I don't see a Pepsi can. Um, might be that I just don't see it, or like maybe I'm blind. Uh. Um, but we also have a fire extinguisher. Pretty common. I'm not sure if that's an Easter egg. So yeah, I don't think it's in the triple seven three hundred. Yeah, I don't think it's in this one. 
I did. I do remember seeing some type of can. I'm not sure if it's in this one though. Let's go to the triple seven two hundred ER, the smallest version of the triple seven. Uh, see, I don't want to make this video too long, so this video is probably already like more than seven minutes long, and I want to make it at least below fifteen minutes, so. I don't want to make this video too long, but let's just hope Infinite Flight loads in very quickly um, so that this video is not too long. So here we are downloading a craft 100% loading your flight. Now, if it doesn't have in the, if it doesn't have the Pepsi in this one, I'll just speed up me looking in the 200 LR because I don't I really don't want to make this video really long. Okay, so here we are. In the triple seven two hundred. Now I do not think it's here. Yeah, I don't think it's even in the triple sevens. But all I know is that it's in the seven six seven. But yeah, let's just go to the next Easter egg. So this next Easter egg is going to be in the Airbus Air Air. Uh, 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 the Airbus A330, it's going to be in the Airbus A330 cockpit. Um, so let's go ahead and load in, go to the cockpit view. So, first things first, we have a phone with the Infinite Flight app on it, of course. Um, with three, three um, tabs, I guess. We also have it like on 80% charge. Somehow has Wi-Fi. Don't know how that happened. But let's go to free cam and go to the cockpit. I do remember seeing a can, yeah. This is a type of can. And also there is a pencil in the cockpit right here. Now, I did co comment on Exentora Gaming's video. He actually missed the pencil. But I'm here to show you guys as well. Why are we still here? So here it is. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for the Airbus A330. Let's go to the uh, next Easter egg and probably the last actually. So this next Easter egg is very cool, but also very mysterious and weird. And you would not think that this would ever happen. In infinite flight now this is the second to last Easter egg we have one more right after this um, but yeah so um, this Easter egg is that in I, I I guess almost every plane the back of the engine blades are invisible so uh, it's just basically one thin layer so we have the engine blades going right here but when we look into the back of the engine they shouldn't appear. Yeah, it's basically just nothing. But then when you go on the other side, it's not nothing. It's actually something. Now, um, this also works on the other engine as well. And also every plane as well. Yeah. Um, check for yourself if it will actually work on any plane. But yeah, now let's get right into the f f le f uh, uh, the final Easter egg. Now, the last but not least Easter egg is going to be in the 747 Sophia, I think. Um, so for this one, we can't actually be on the ground. We actually are going to spawn inside on a runway. And let's go ahead and set our flaps and take off. Now, I don't think it matters what altitude you're at, so I'm only going to go up to maybe like two or 3,000. Um, now, I do not want to make this video long, so as my climb to three or 2,000 feet, I will speed it up. So let's just get airborne. Let's just take off. Beautiful takeoff, positive rate, gear up. And well, now it's time to speed up until we get to around four, 
um, or 5,000. See you guys there. Alright, so we're back at 6,500 feet. Now, yeah, I definitely 100% did a professional um, type of climb. But now, I believe, yeah, it is definitely this plane. Now, if we go to exterior drone and go right next to this door here, and we open it, we will, yeah, we can actually open it, and then we will have this inside. Yeah, so that's a pretty cool Easter egg now. I have no idea what this actually is, um, but it's kind of interesting, and it's also kind of weird that you can open the door in mid-air, but yeah, this is going to be the last Easter egg, guys, um, hope you oh, enjoyed yeah. this video, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, bye!